Hi, this is Larry again, and uh, from the Center for Online Innovation and Learning. You already know that part. So let me jump into the second question. And um, this question was about lessons learned from our World Campus experience. And uh, this could really be a day-long or maybe a week-long discussion, but I'm going to try to get it down. What I really want to do is whet your appetite for a dialogue so that when I'm with you, we can maybe dig into some of these topics a little more. But um, first of all, I kind of thought about a metaphor, and I, I guess one of the things I would, I would throw out there is the idea of focus. And um, so we really did focus, and our first focus was on our students. That's a pair of binoculars you'll see in a moment. And our students, you know, that was really the initial drive behind the World Campus, was to think about reaching net new students outside of a geographic area for Penn State. The second part that we focused on was the institution. That's supposed to be Old Main. And the idea was that we were really connecting learners who couldn't get to a geographic location in Pennsylvania to the institution, to the academy. Our job was to bring those two three things together, and the World Campus enables us to do that. So some of the things we learned, and I think these are really sort of my, my top list. There are others, but let's go with these. The first one is that that the mission, the definition of the mission of the online initiative has to be, is absolutely critical. It has to be understood. There has to be a, an understanding of the institutional will and the intention. That is, what, what does the institution desire for this initiative? And if, they, if the idea is, well, we're going to be serving resident-based students, then super, that's what you focus on. If it's to generate new enrollments outside the institution, then focus on that. But the idea is getting that well understood and getting that focus very, very sharp. Otherwise, you'll be all over the place. The second thing is this definition of purpose. This is something I always suggest to, to institutions. Get down on paper. Have the discussions. It may take you a year. It may even take you two years. But make sure that you're clear in the end who's the target audience and what are the programs that we're going to go out and offer that target audience. That's absolutely, knowing that, believe me, will save you a lot of heartache down the road. The third is the idea of systems integration. So the thing that is disruptive, if you will, about these technologies is they bump into corners of the institution that aren't used to dealing with students who aren't face-to-face. -face. Uh, one of our early uh, stories is the um, the libraries who, who are, have been wonderful throughout the experience of the World Campus, but said, yes, of course we can, we can regis register your students to have technology accounts. Just have them come to our building and sign a piece of paper. That's not an option. And that, that's the kind of rub, if you will, between this disruptive innovation of online learning and the institution. So thinking about how things fit into the institutional infrastructure is really critical. Second to the last would be preparation, and I'm speaking here of, I'll start with administrators, having administrators understand what the, the mission is and the purpose, and then embodying that in all that they do and talk. Second would be faculty, that they have the skill sets and preparation to be successful when they teach online. When they're successful, the students are going to be successful. Finally, your learners. And this is a group I think that we sometimes say, oh, they're the net generation, they know this stuff intuitively. It's not true. They have to be taught and trained how to learn in an online environment. And that is very different than how they use Facebook on the weekends or in the evenings or maybe during one of your classes. Finally, the idea of under-promise and over-deliver. So when you're building out your system, that you're thinking about all of the services and all of the mechanisms, the technology, under-promise that and then over-deliver. You'll, you'll have happy learners who are willing to participate and pay for programs when they get more than what they expected. It's when they interact, for example, with an online advisor who they stay with for four years as they finish their degrees. That person is over-delivering, and that little bit of success goes a long way for both that student and who that student talks to. So a snapshot. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.